Hello and welcome to our channel. The power over information dissemination has long been in the hands of centralized platforms and the RSS3 team intends to change that. RSS was the first information dissemination protocol to go mainstream. It was prominent when data sets were decentralized, but that all changed when centralized data monopolies came into play. A new protocol was needed to change the status quo that would turn every cyber person into their distribution center. RSS3 was created to change that and we'll tell you more about RSS3 in this video. RSS3 is designed to be a highly modular protocol, meaning that all information or content should and will be supported. This includes those already on a public or decentralized network, such as Ethereum, Solana and Arweave, those federated, such as Mastodon and Miski, and those that are centralized but still open to giving users back their data, such as Twitter. As long as the data proves ownership and is indexable, the RSS3 network will include it as part of the content environment. In addition, feed files are open to users and developers to make some changes, allowing for more flexibility. The company provides default distribution channels for developers to create the apps better, and for now, these include social graphs and search. RSS3 currently designs social charts based on customizable links between files. Tracking will be done using global indexes, allowing developers to help users find what they are looking for. The RSS3 protocol defines the format in which information exists. Through the RSS3 protocol, users store data in a decentralized RSS3 network, including profile, link, node, and asset, where message and support include content published by users themselves and content automatically. Ubiquitous linking is the foundation of an open information system. The RSS3 protocol supports universal links with configurable types between RSS3 objects. The primary object of RSS3 include an assistance, a collection of crypto-based accounts, asset, a medium of exchange created digitally, object, content created on the network. An internal link is bidirectional and connects two objects within the RSS3 network, while an external link unidirectionally connects an RSS3 object to an external entity. An external link intended for an RSS3 object can be bidirectional if the DAO approves the source. The RSS3 network has high Turing completeness. It can handle complex logic, such as considering smart contracts that determine permission and ownership of RSS3 files. In an RSS3 file, the activity feed contains, first, all activities indexed from verified instance accounts, second, all items created by the instance or network, and three, all universal links created in the RSS3 network. The feed resembles the original RSS protocol with additional cryptographic information to support data integrity and originality. The design represents a decentralized approach to information dissemination. RSS3 is destined to become an indexer for any cyber person and the company is adding verification and indexing modules to this protocol. RSS3 Hub will verify the ownership of a particular account and then index assets from verified accounts into RSS3 files. The network not only applies to decentralized networks, but also existing centralized platforms. The team adds RSS3 account and RSS3 assets to RSS3 standard and RSS3 hub will try out these new modules for the first time, along with the introduction of Web3 Pass. RSS3 is not limited to a simple aggregator. If we look at how users or addresses show their assets now, they use the most primitive way. If you have 700 NFTs, they will be displayed simultaneously, and the only option for viewers are likely to be price, order or chronology. There is no human contact, and that's where RSS3 files come into play. An enhanced RSS3 hub will collect assets from different networks, and for the first time in Web3 history, users can manage this index. They can choose to show or hide any investment and change the order themselves. All your fans and friends will see your best collections, content or achievements from your index in your style. 
RSF3, a next generation protocol that creates a decentralized web feed for content distribution via blockchain, has announced a new round of funding. RSF3 indexes and connects all of our cyber existence in the Web3 era and creates free for media and apps. CoinShares Ventures led the round with Coinbase Ventures, Dragonfly Capital, Mask Network, Hashkey Group, Fabric Ventures, RV, Depper Labs, Avalanche Asia Star Fund, Ubi Capital, Headline VC, Formless Capital, I'm Token Ventures, and private investors, including Balaji Srinivasan, the Jiho, Meltem Demerers, head of CoinShares Ventures, commented. Since the early days of the internet, we have been building assets online. With over 4 billion internet users and 50 million online creators, these assets have tremendous potential to become financial and be represented on the circuit through new crypto primitives. RSS3 provides a future in which these assets will be platformless, minimizing the monopoly of Web2 platforms on user behavior and enabling aggregation across applications and a wide variety of new use cases cases, such as online credentials, certification, and more. RSS3 team members from around the world have a wealth of experience. Since launching two months ago, RSS3 has indexed 18,000 users, 76,000 links, and 834,000 assets while integrating multiple blockchains. RSS3 protocols now support assets, NFTs, actions, and content from numerous centralized and decentralized networks. XIZ, Arweave, Polygon, XDay, and Twitter support Flow, Roni, Solana, and Avalanche projects. RSS3 token auction will be held on the 12th of February and will last three days until the 15th of February. Most of the RSF3 tokens are subject to long-term lock-in. All 1 billion RSF3 tokens will be created during the Genesis process. Community tokens are those tokens that will be gradually distributed to the general public. 5% will be tokens from public sales during TGE, which will be the only tokens that are unlocked immediately. 10% will be early incentives. 2% will be airborne to the existing RSS3 ecosystem one month after LBP. The rest will have a 12-month linear unlock used as incentives for various stakeholders. 2% will be for partner projects and organizations. There will be a 12-month cliff and then a 36-month linear unlock. RSS3 DAO will manage 47% for future development purposes. The 2% will be unlocked after LBP, from which the initial pool of liquidity on Uniswap will be derived. They will then be subject to a 12-month cleave before a 48-month linear unlock. Seed investors, their purchase price was 4 cents per RSS3. There will be a 12-month cleave and then a 24-month linear unlock. Purchase prices for participants in the private token sales range from 6 to 15 cents. Natural Selection Labs in the equity company that initiated the RSS3 project. It will be granted 5% of all tokens with a vesting period of 24 months after the 12-month cliff. Existing and future members of the RSS3 team will be allocated about 15% of all tokens. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos.